E3 here with the daily update. So I'm just going to share some data, some facts, and then we'll go from there. So currently I have pain on the right side of my head, which is that side. The camera's flipped, so everything's the opposite. Um, still have some sensation left in the left side, my left hand and arm, but the pain on the right side of my head, it feels like when I had the minor stroke in October 2019 on a flight from Hawaii to New York. And then the next day, the left side of my body was slightly paralyzed. And so I went to the hospital and they discovered the tumor. And it feels almost exactly like that. It's like the worst headache in the whole world <laughs> that I've ever had on the right side of my head. Um, and then I'm noticing the left side of the body is like getting weaker and more numb and like slightly paralyzed but then there's also like a deep pain like a nerve burning pain um so it's a it's another practice another opportunity to feel what's happening in the 3d but also allow myself to be connected to my heart to my smile to my angel guides to my life purpose to great spirit and to deeper levels of presence. Easier said than done, and it's actually painful to talk right now, but I wanted to make this update because with the amount of pain that I'm having, I have no idea what's gonna happen tonight or tomorrow. It's like, it feels like a knife which is on fire moving in and out of the head, and it's the pressure is building, and it feels like it's getting deeper. Uh, so, <clears throat> but like I keep on saying that, I believe the body can heal. I believe that miracles are happening and more will happen. I believe that my heart and my mind are more ready now than ever to go through this experience of deep healing. Um, so yeah, I'm trying to just honor both realms, the extreme pain that I'm in. The painkillers don't help at all. Maybe for like, I don't know, five minutes they help, but then the pain comes back. I've been using Rick Simpson oil. Yesterday was, I think that was the first time I used it. I took it again tonight, so hopefully it'll kick in soon and that will help. Um, but yeah, it's interesting because like, if I go to the hospital, they're not going to do anything. There's nothing they can do. They can't do radiation to slow down the tumor growth, which is causing numbness and sl slightly towards paralysis on the left side of the body. I started chemo and finished the five day, first five-day cycle uh, like a week ago, but if... I don't even know if chemo would work in my case. And even if it did, it's not going to happen quickly. Um, so this Friday, I'm going to hyperbaric oxygen therapy for the first time in a long time. And uh, that's maybe my last hope right now. <clears throat> well, there's, of course, God's grace and miracles. But how will that manifest in the 3D realm? Hyperbaric oxygen therapy, that's the thing I need right now. I wish I could get it tomorrow, but I have to wait a few more days. So, um, yeah, that's just a short update. Again, with the extreme pain, I don't know if it's going to move into a minor stroke tonight. It feels just like when I had it, the minor stroke last year. Um, but, yeah, there's not much I can do besides just being present, praying, breathing. <clears throat> like I said, at the hospital, they wouldn't even be able to do anything anyway. Um, because it's the tumor pressing against the nerve in the head. Um, so yeah, it's a, another opportunity for me to face death, face life, um, stay connected with great spirit, um, be present with extreme pain, allow my mind to be clear, my heart to be open, and my body to be present and strong with the experience. Um, yeah, so it's, it's going to be another practice tonight and then uh pretty much just getting through the night tomorrow i'm gonna see an integrative oncologist and the western oncologist so personally i like to gain as much data as possible then to meditate be still and then make a decision so i'm gonna see both oncologists tomorrow um and then uh yeah just continue with higher doses of rick simpson oil um and what else? Coffee enemas, uh, ozone encephalation, uh, ozone in the ears, 
Thanks for reminding me. I forgot to do that tonight. And uh, green juices, prayer, and uh, waiting till a few days when I can get into the hyperbaric oxygen therapy. So that's the update for tonight. Thank you again for your prayers. Uh, I'm staying ready for whatever happens. Being present with the pain. Choosing to bear my own cross with a smile in my heart and on my face. And following the dreams of assisting humanity in raising the frequency and bringing in the new earth. I definitely still feel that dream alive in my heart. Where we can have increased love, creativity, and maybe the biggest awakening that we've seen in a long time happening. So I didn't come this far just to give up. I came this far to continue to ground into who I am, into the earth, and continue to follow the love that's in my heart for my benefit and the benefit of many, many people. So with that being said, the E3 affirmation. I am embodied. I am empowered. I am ecstatic. <laughs> just as I am. Just as the situation is. And may you be as well. E3 here, sending you love and wishing you well.